Yeah, great. So hey, Debbie, yeah, thanks for joining. And so I have few questions related to open source uh, to you. And my first question was, of course, like how and why? I mean, let's start with why, right? how, right? So how how did you started with open source? Um, well, it was in the company I was working for, the manager and the CEO and the, the, a lot of the staff were all into open source. So they said, like, we want you to, to give back to open source because they use open source. So they encouraged like everyone to kind of spend some time and try and, you know, do something for open source. And at the time I was um, learning Webpack because we were trying to put Webpack into the company's projects, but nobody had Webpack experience. So I was seriously studying the docs and the docs were hard and it was like, it was, it was not easy. So um, when it came to, um, sometimes I was going to the docs, I found things, they weren't um, how it should be. So I kind of like made a contribution to the docs to just improve it, but a tiny thing. It was like, like one small tiny change in the text of the doc, but that helped me understand it and clarify it. And that was my first contribution was to the Webpack documentation. So a lot of lot of uh, people, a lot of folks I spoke to, they they have their first first contribution as docs. So glad to hear that. So yes. okay, like if 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 I, if I can ask, which company was that? So it's a company called Blue Curie in Mallorca. Okay, cool. And uh, how you felt like when when they asked you to do like or invest some time doing open source? What was your motivation? Um, I was scared. I was like, but what am I going? Am I going to break Webpack? Um, like, do you know? Because you think you're going to change something in the code because you don't really fully understand the process of actually until the pull request is merged and somebody's going to review it and etc but as somebody who was like this is my first time doing anything like this i was so scared i was like i don't want to do this i don't want to break webpack <laughs> that's that's true that's true great so glad to hear that uh, but you still contributed and now here you are so uh the next question it's how how do you think contributing to open source has helped you so um, when I was at a conference, uh, I attended, a, I atten attended a Webpack workshop with Sean Larkin um, to, in order to learn Webpack. And I basically, you know, said to him as well that I, I would love to help out more because he explained, you know, what Webpack was as an open source. And, you know, it's just normal people working on it in their spare time. There's no company behind it or there wasn't at the time. Um, and it was like... Um, I was like, how can I help? How can I do more of this? So he basically then, um, we had a, a chat with him and some of the other pack team were there. And I ended up becoming one of the official uh, like docs contributors, right? So I became, they, they added me to the Slack channel and uh, I started to do some more contributions. And this was really nice because I felt like, okay, I'm being useful here. And um, I created the Why Webpack page. So they showed me like, this was a page that was missing. We need somebody to create it. Now that took a lot of time and a lot of reviews. It's about a hundred, like you know, reviews back and forth. Um, but it was really cool because it made me feel like, wow, I created that page. That page is still live today. And how many people has that page helped? Because I just took some time on a Saturday to to dedicate to creating that page. And I think if everyone, like you know, takes some time and gives back to all the things that we're getting for free, because we love free stuff, right? Um, so for all this free stuff, just give that little bit of your skills back into the community, into the open source world. Um, then you don't feel so bad asking for help from people because you've, you've given some help. So I, I didn't feel so bad and say, you know, sending a message to Sean Larkin and saying, hey, I've got, I've got a problem here because I contributed so many hours to Webpack. So it's, I think when you give, give, you don't feel mm -hmm. so bad, yeah, then asking for help. Wow, that's that's true, that's true. Uh, <laughs> I think I have seen that as well. So uh, last question. So what, what, is, what, what is your suggestion to someone who wants to actually contribute to open source? I think it's a matter of finding the project that, like, some people don't know where to start, right? And where to start mm -hmm. is always hard. I started with Webpack because that's what I was using. That's the documentation that I was reading. I don't contribute to Webpack right now. I've, I've now went on, I started to contribute to Nuxt and that's how I got hired by Nuxt was because I was constantly contributing to them and to their stuff as well, right? Um, so find something that you're using. Don't just, I'm gonna look for this project and I'm gonna contribute to that. If you don't have that like that need or that passion or that 
something that's bringing you to that project, then it doesn't make sense. So if you're using something and as you're reading the docs, you say, like, for example, uh, in Playwright, um, there's definitely mistakes in the documentation, in, especially in some of the English. Like, you know, if you're using Playwright and you're reading those docs and you find it, that's the moment to contribute. Um, other projects do have these like help wanted or, and you could look for those specific open source projects. Um, but in general, it's a matter of, yeah, I don't think it's something like, I want to contribute to open source. Uh, I'm going to pick this project and I'm going to contribute. It's, it's more like, I'm using this. I see this issue. I can help fix it. Or I can report it. And even reporting an issue is also something that's helping contribute to open source. If you don't tell people that you had a problem with this, nobody can fix it. And somebody else probably had the same problem. But somebody needs to actually write that issue and say, hey, this isn't working. This is broke. This link is broken. I don't know how to fix it, but this link is broken. That's a contribution in itself. And I think little things start small. Um, you don't have to be an expert in the actual subject matter, in the repo, in the organization. Everyone can help and give back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much again, Debbie, for your time. So